video today, we're going to be showing you how to make some homemade no cook strawberry jam. Stay tuned for the full recipe. Hi guys, welcome back. Guys, guess what we're making today? We are making no cook strawberry jelly. And Angel, are you excited to make strawberry jelly today? Yeah. Me too. So guys, let's get started. Okay guys, so first you want to make sure that you wash your strawberries and also cap them. After you wash your strawberries, you're going to cut them up and stir them really, really well. So take your knife, and we're using butter knives because, you know, they're a lot safer for Angel to use. So we're just going to cut them in little pieces, just like this. And Angel, let me help you. You got it? Okay. And guys, I also want to let you know that we are going to be using one and two third cups of strawberries today. And we're just using cutting boards and we're chopping them up. Let me move that over there so you guys can see it. And we're just chopping them up in little pieces so that way when it's time for us to mash them inside of our bowl, they will mash a lot easier. And we're gonna be using potato mashers today. So once you get your strawberries all cut, now we're gonna put them inside the bowl. And we're just gonna pick our mats up like this. And we are going to slide them inside of the bowl. Okay guys, so that is one and two thirds cups of strawberries all chopped. Now we're gonna use our potato masher because we want to mash our strawberries. <laughs> and you wanna make sure you get them mashed really, really good. So this is how our strawberries look nice and mashed. Yeah, let's see. Now, you're going to want to add your sugar. We're going to be adding two-thirds cup of sugar. Now, Angel, Yay. would you like to pour the sugar inside of our bowl? Yes, of course. Sure. All of it. All of it will be fine. Thank you, Angel. And now, guys, we're going to be adding two tablespoons of pectin. Can you add the pectin? All of it. All of it. Now here comes the important part. We need to make sure we stir this for five minutes. Yeah. And we want to just stir it up. Because it's important that the pectin and the sugar mix up really, really well. Oh my goodness, guys. I can't wait to taste this. Me too. Okay, guys, so we're going to close our jars up, and we're going to see you in about an hour. Hey, guys. Hey. So it's been about an hour. And now we are going to eat it. We're going to try our strawberry jam, guys. We are so excited. So our strawberry jam has been sitting out for an hour, guys. Okay. And guys, once you open your strawberry jam, you can set your strawberry jam into the refrigerator for up to a couple of weeks. Or you can also store your strawberry jam in the freezer for up to a year. So I would suggest maybe using a Sharpie and writing the date on the top of your strawberry jam's lid. Okay, Angel. So let's taste our strawberry jam. Yay! Strawberry Jam's recipe. And Angel, what do we want to say? Click that bell. Turn on notifications. notifications. 